Hello everyone, today I will be presenting my paper on the role of computer tomography in evaluation of paranasal sinuses. Aim of my study to evaluate the role of computer tomography in evaluation of paranasal sinuses pathology. Objective is to diagnose the disease of the PNS accurately, to correlate the clinical diagnosis with the diagnosis obtained by CT imaging, to find out the exact location and extent of the disease when to correlate the finding in the CT with the histopathologically when it is possible. Introduction the panel sinus are a group of four air, air filled cavities in the skull, facial bone, and surrounded with the nasal cavity. They are connected to the nasal cavity by small opening and are named in the accordance to the bone in which they are stationed. Development start by 25 week to 28 week of gestation. The panel sinus attain adult size by adolescence. The important function served by the panel sinus include humidification of the inspired air, increase resonance of the voice, decreasing the relative weight of the skull. Immunologically depends. There are a lot of pathologies involved in the perineal sinuses, anatomical variant like David in nasal septum, broad air, inflammatory as well as neoplastic condition, both benign and malignant. A wide variety of these diseases affect a million of people, and the radiological evaluation, evaluation has been primarily to, primarily to diagnose these conditions. Uh, plain, plain film radiography used to be the main modality of the evaluation of the perineal sinuses. As it is quick and non invasive, however, because it's vivid deficit airspace, uh, OPC by sinuses and the bony architecture, computer tomography has superseded the conventional film radiography as the radio radiological investigation of choice for diagnosis. The accuracy of the determined the etiology and extent of the inflammation and neoplastic illnesses of the perineal sinus has improved thanks to CT, in which effectively image both soft tissue and bone. An outstanding uh, exhaustive evaluation will be provide a full set of ax axial coronal CT scans. Additionally, it will perform MRI by evaluating the distribution and the extent of the disease. CT aid in diagnosis and subsequent management of chronic and recurrent panel sinusitis disorder because of its 3D high resolution CT. It is particularly effective in uh, defining the computer com complicated anatomy and anatomical variants that are challenged to assess physical, physically examination or endoscopically. The panel sinus and nasal cavity can be accurately assessed by CT prior to surgery and it's regarded gold standard for describing the inflammation sinus and pathology brought on the blockage and drainage pathway. Coronal CT image has been shown to closely match up the surgical approach as it's very useful in functional endoscopy surgery and coronal, coronal images replicate how the sinus, uh, sinonasal cavity appear when viewed through the endoscope. The detection of the anatomical vari variation that may result in intraoperative and postoperative difficulty in FAS is another beneficial use of CT in which lower patient mortality and mobility. The mainstay in the assessment of the perineal sinus disorder is now combination of CT and endoscopy. Consequently, CT offers subsequently relevance in the assessment of prevention disorder. These, uh, my inclusion criteria were patients with the suspected diagnosis of sinus, uh, sinonasal pathology. Exclusion criteria was the all patient with trauma patient with the previous history of sinonasal surgery and pregnant woman. Equipment use was Philips uh, 128 slides and the sample size was 50 and the study duration was one year. Uh, these are the patient preparation or patient I advise for the fast four, four hour prior to the CT scan and contrast agent was, u was used if indicated as a single intra uh, venous bolus injection following the serum creatine values. Informed consent and op opt in from the patient if IV contrast administration is necessary. CT PNS protocol patient position in prone in coronal and spine in axial. Extent of study from anterior to posterior, uh, anterior most aspect to nasal cavity to the posterior margin of the spinoid sinus in coronal section and from frontal sinus uh, through heart palate in axial section. These are the gender distribution. Highest number of the patients were male in the study according, uh, accounting for 30 uh, and the female accounting for 20. The male female ratio found to be 1.5 is to 1. These are the age. Uh, age by distribution in the study majority of patients were, uh, were the range of 21 to 30 years followed by 9 patients from the range of 51 to 60 years. The youngest patient was 9 year old and while the eldest was 78 year old. The, the computer tomography of the patient performed in 50 patients in a prospective descriptive study and the diagnostic arrangement 
एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन द क्लिनिकल एंड सी टी फाइंडिंग वॉज कैलकुलेटेड दीज वॉर दी कंप्लेन चेंज ऑफ द वॉइस इन वन पेशेंट एपिस्टेक्सिस हेडेक नेजल ऑब्सट्रक्शन पेन स्वेलिंग चीफ कंप्लेन नेजल ऑब्सट्रक्शन वॉज फाउंड इन फोर्टी टू परसेंट वॉज द मोस्ट कॉमन पेशेंट कंप्लेन हेडेक देन थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट पेन वॉज फोर एंड एपिस्टेक्सिस इन फोर चेंज ऑफ वॉइस इन टू वॉर द लीस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट सिम्टम्स दीज आर दी टी फाइंडिंग डेविएशन ऑफ नेजल सेप्टम कॉन्कोबलोसा एंड ऑस्टिमेटल यूनिट ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट ट्वेंटी सेवन पेशेंट फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट हैड मिड लाइन नेजल सेप्टम ट्वेंटी थ्री पेशेंट पेशेंट हैड डेविएटेड नेजल सेप्टम विद राइट साइड सीन इन ट्वेल्व पेशेंट एंड द लेफ्ट साइड डेविएशन सीन इन इलेवन पेशेंट कॉन्काबलोसा सीन इन इलेवन पेशेंट विद फाइव पेशेंट है बायोलेटल एंड सिक्स पेशेंट है यूनिटेटल कॉन्काबलोसा ऑस्टोमेटल यूनिट ऑब्सट्रक्शन वॉज सीन इन थर्टी थ्री पेशेंट दीज आर दाइनस इन्वॉल्वमेंट मैगजिली साइनस Involvement uh, was uh, 22% bilaterally anterior thromboidal sinus, 21% posterior thromboidal sinus bilaterally involved 20%, frontal uh, bilaterally 40%, spinoid bilaterally involved 10%. Uh, the most involved sinus in the study was anterior thromboidal sinus 86%, followed by the maxillary 84%, posterior thromboidal sinus 84%, spinoid sinus 54%, and the frontal sinus involved by just 50%. Bone involvement seen in 24 patient in the study 50% 24 had bone involvement for more erosion thinning and destruction. These are the patient involvement. The maximum number of patient had sinonasal polyposis pattern uh, seen in 34 patient followed by infundibular pattern seen in 7 patient. 7 patient sporadic pattern seen in 5 patient. Least common pattern was the osteomyelitis unit pattern and sinoethmoidic recess pattern. Agreement between clinical diagnosis and the final diagnosis. Uh, the polyp was clinically found in eight patients, sinusitis in thirteen patients, fungal sinusitis five, and other compared was six. Uh, these are the agreement between uh, agreement between CT diagnosis and final diagnosis. From the above table, we can see I uh, observed the kappa coefficient for the CT diagnosis as compared clinical diagnosis in the significant. Uh, higher CT diagnosis has perfect agreement with the final diagnosis. These are the cases. Uh, here we, in a axillary coronal uh, plane, we can see uh, homogeneous soft tissue density lesion expanding from antrum to concha on the right side with binding of the maxillary, maxillary ostium. In, the, uh, in this image, we can see axillary and sagittal image showing the uh, opacification of the right central sinus with bony expansion. In axial coronal CT images, we can see os uh, ossifying fibroma uh, showing an expansile lesion filling the left nasal cavity epicenter in the left ethmoid ears exerting mass but with the bowing of the nasal septum. Nasal hemangioma uh, in a axial non contrast on the left side and the post contrast on the right side CT image showing the homogeneous enhancing soft tissue lesion obliterating left nasal cavity and scapula. <laughs> Scalloping the medial wall of the left maxillary sinus. Uh, in this uh, axial non contrast on the left side and the post, post contrast on the right side, we can see a nasopharyngeal angiofibroma showing high enhancing mass lesion in the right posterior ethmoid and spinoid sinus with binding of the right uh, tigo palatine fossa. In this image, we can see an inverted papilloma, the axial non contrast on the left side and the post, post contrast on the right side. CT image showing lobulated heterogeneous enhancing soft tissue lesion in the right nasal cavity. Uh, expanding into the right maxillary sinus with the adjacent bony remodeling. This is the case of squamous cell carcinoma, axially uh, post contrast on the left side and the non contrast on the right side. See, to may showing heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue mass in the left maxillary sinus with the bony destruction of the surrounding wall and extra sinus extension. These are the discussion recently it become widely acknowledged that CT is the ideal imaging of technique for the identity. Identify everything that sinus sinus neoplasm to the mid inflam mild inflammatory disease below power correlation of the plane X ray and C T has been estab established by the previous study. Plane radiography is sufficient and no longer commonly used. Uh, these are the uh, in the study we can see uh, in the present study patient age group was 9 to 78 year, which was line of the study done by colleague. Kelrich um, RA, the majority of the patient was aged between 21 to 30. About two third patient was male and one third patient was female. This was the different, different compared to the study 
Gilrich and others like you due to the demographic of the patient taken in the present study. Sinus involvement and tumor sinus was uh, most commonly affected sinus and followed by uh, followed by 42 patients uh, affecting uh, affecting the maxillary sinus posterior tumor and least involved sinus or spinal sinus in 27 patients. Sinus involved was 25 patients. Anterior tumor sinus and maxillary sinus are the most frequent involved, according to the study in the literature, which correlated well with the present present study. The least commonly involved sinus found in the previous literature was spinal sinus. However, in the present study, we see the spinal spinal sinus involvement was slightly higher, and it's in the second least involved sinus. The most prevalent pattern. In Included was sinonasal polyposis, which was followed in the decreasing order of the involvement by posterior unit and infundibulum sphenoethymoid recess and sporadic pattern. Bone involvement uh, in the present study, we can see inverted papilloma angiopharma more commonly studied by Naranus show that angiopharma is most commonly followed by inverted papilloma, thus making our study comparable. The difference in the incidence between the present study and the other study may be due to the variation in the number of the cases taken up. Summary the uh, CT and the clinical history of occupation of pregnancy sinus disease. We studied the CT scan while evaluated according to the site and extent of and extent and the characteristic of region. The study involved to depression. 50 patients aging in the between the age of 9 to 78 years, 10 patients were uh, in 21 to 30 years age group. We had the most number of the patients overall male female ratio of 1 is 1.5 is to 1 nasal obstruction. The headache was the most frequent presenting complaint in inflammatory region along the soft tissue swelling in the malignant region. Epistaxis was the common and malignant and benign vascular lesion uh, and anthroconal polyp. Polyps typically involved in the maxillary enter and nasal cavity is referring to characteristic widening, widening of the maxillary ostium and uh, enterocoronal polyps showed the hyperdensity of non contrast CT with moderate enhancement and post contrast enhancement. Post contrast admission, this is a feature of inflammation that the CT can characterize these lesions effectively. Anterior tumor sinus was the most commonly involved sinus, which was followed by the maxillary sinus, both in uh, inflammatory and neoplastic lesion. Uh, affected these lesions. Most uh, most of the common cell carcinoma were in older age group. The ex, uh, extension of the lesion, especially in the region of uh, infratemporal, uh, infratemporal fossa and terrible uh, palate and fossa, orbital, orbital cavity, oral cavity, and intracranial cavity were easily made out with the combination of the axial coronal and non contrast CT scan. In the most cases, we were able to identify whether the lesion is benign or malignant, but the exact diagnosis we made. By the histopath examination. Conclusion as a as a conclusion, CT of the pancreas sinus has enhanced by the ability of visualize the anatomical structure and the sinus increased accuracy of diagnosis of pancreas sinus. A credible pre-operative roadmap is provided by the accurate uh, accurate uh, delineation of the disease and the microanatomy of the CT. It is its value come from the capacity to identify the bone erosion in order to check. Areas that are not accessible for endoscopy. It is, it is increased utilized in conjunction conjunction the endoscopy. We can get one mm image and the high quality multiplanar uh, information thanks to M MDCT. It is currently re referred as gold standard. These are the references. Thank you.